G'day. Um, <clears throat> I follow a um, TikToker and she's an American young mum and um, her name's Ashley and this is for her. So she talks a lot about her little girl uh, remembering her past life. Um, now, when I, um, before I had kids, I read these books, this one. It's called Yesterday's Children, The Extraordinary Search for My Past Life Family by Jenny Cockle. And this is a really famous book about a lady who, when she was a little girl, she remembered everything, everything about her past life um, and how she uh, actually went and found all her children from her last past life who were elderly, but they were still alive. And because uh, she just could never, that was when she was an adult, she went and searched for them because she just never found any peace uh, about what happened to them. And she remembered them all, even into adulthood, which is rare because most kids forget their past lives. Because, because, and they talk about it in these other books that I've got. Pa uh, parents don't believe them and they kind of get poo-pooed about it and yeah so anyway the next one is I've lost the dust jacket for it but it's called children's children's past lives by Carol Bowman and this is a, a really good one and it talks about all sorts of different cases and of kids that remembering their past lives and there's some famous stories in there that I've seen on documentaries since then and then this book as well by Roy Stemmen called reincarnation so uh, Ashley if you can get your hands on those three books I would read them if I was you so uh, when my my son's 27 now but when he was I'm gonna say he was three uh, he was lying in bed one night and I said to him because I had read these books and they said you know around the ages of two three four start asking your kids if they remember anything about their past life if they haven't already started coming up with stuff which Ashley's daughter seems to have done and so <clears throat> he was lying in bed and I was lying with him and I said to him do you remember where you lived before you came here he said yep I said where did you live and he said I lived up in the sky oh, oh. I said and how did you come to be here and he said there was an old lady up there and um, she helped me choose you to be my mum. I was like, oh, okay. And that was all I could get out of him. That was it. Um, my daughter, I asked her, do you remember where you lived before? And she just went, nah. <laughs> that just sums my daughter up to the T. Nah, why would I know that? I'm just here. Like, yeah, so funny. Um, but yeah, so that was the response I got from my son. So whenever there's a, ch a small child in my life, I've always said to them, do you, do you remember where you lived before you came and lived here with your mum? And um, most of them say no, they don't know. <laughs> Some of them say up in the sky. Uh, the little boy next door told me that he lived with a different mummy. That was all he told me. So yeah, but... Um, Ashley, this is for you. If you can get your hands on Yesterday's Children, great story. Children's Past Lives, that's a really good one. And that helps you develop her memories of her past life, your daughters, um, and how, you know, it's important to them to have some peace about what happened in their last life because they've obviously carried these memories over into this life for some reason. And maybe there's something that um, needs to be um, uh, finalised for her. Um, <clears throat> I know, I remember reading in one of them, Reincarnation or Past Lives, there was a story of an elderly man and he had suffered with, um, he had suffered with like chest complaints his whole life, always had like, chest infections and colds and stuff like that and um yeah, yeah I don't know if it, actually it was a woman and she wasn't elderly anyway she had some kind of um hypnosis and regression therapy and she had been a teenager I think it was in her last life who was gassed at Auschwitz 
And once that realization of that, of her past life happened, um, her chest complaints cleared up and she never had them again. And that's what they think a lot of um, un unknown health problems that people have today could be a hangover from their past life, things like that. Anyway, I'm a believer in past lives. I'm a believer in reincarnation. I'm not religious in any way. Um, but I just think there's just too many incidences um, of people. And I also believe that we we go through different stages in each life um, and we learn lessons in each life. And I, here's another story. I worked with a guy and he... <laughs> He was a believer in reincarnation and he was married to this lady and she was a complete bitch to him all the time. She was just so horrible to him. I said to him, why? Why do you put up with her? And he said, I have been told by a psychic that we have been together in every single one of our past lives. And in every single one of her uh, past lives, I have left her. He said, so this life, I'm staying with her till I die. So that I don't have to be with her in my next life. <laughs> anyway, that's enough from me. That's a long video. So Ashley, I'm going to um, at you in this. So hopefully you'll see it. And um, I wish you well. I love your stories about your little girl. They're fantastic. I love hearing about them. So keep it up. Okay, see ya.